Welcome back. I am your host, Tennessee Starter, and today we are going to talk about life and death. It's not too far apart, and oftentimes it happens way too close together. And so I want to know, are you living your best life? And if so, how do you know? That's what we're going to chat about today. So let's get right into it. Take a ride, see the city life with Tennessee Starter. Yeah. We gon' talk about everything in life, even the after. Who am I? I'm Tennessee Starter. Who am I? I'm Tennessee Starter. Yeah, yeah. I'm just a good old country girl. who have had near-death experiences, they know exactly how fragile life can be. For a lot of people who have not had those chance encounters or life-altering um, things to happen to them, they may not know how fragile life is. And the very thing that we are in need of, we are running out of, and that is time. It just keeps ticking away, whether we want it to or not. I had so many plans for myself when I was in my 20s. I got started, I stopped. I started, I stopped. It was this whole yo-yo thing that I was doing with my life. And before I was 30 years old, I realized, hey, look, I really am alive. Like, I'm alive, I'm breathing. I can see, I can walk, I can talk, I can feel, touch, smell. I'm alive. So then I started, all these gears just started clicking and everything just started turning on it. And, and I started realizing like, what am I doing? Like, what am I doing with my life? I know that I'm bigger than this. I know that I am more than this. What in the world have I let happen? And now being over 30 years old, I look at life totally different based on my own personal experiences and the encounters that I've had with people in my life. I see that I have got to get a move on it. I have got to get busy. I had somebody ask me today, by the way, um, what happened with my dreams when I was younger and why didn't I get to where I wanted to be? And I told him, look, I was not ready anyway. I was so underdeveloped as a person. You know, everything I wanted, I was not prepared to receive. And so now it's not even success for me. It's making sure that I'm dying empty. It's making sure that I'm doing everything that I can do in this life that God has gifted me with so that when I leave, people will remember me in love and light and not, you know, just post something on my wall or get a uh, uh, on one of my social media sites or, or get t-shirts made in remembrance of me, you know, uh, something that happens and then it fades away, like quickly fades away. Trust me, I know this firsthand. A lot of people forget the death process, you know, because it's all about life for them, but they're one and the same. And we all are going to experience it at some point in time. But before I go, it's very important that I let the world know that I was here. So when you're thinking about life, your goal is to live it on your terms. Be the happiest you can be. Be mad if you must. Just don't stay that way. And, and don't be afraid to rearrange your life. Don't be afraid to restart and recharge and do what it is that you say you came here to do or you feel like you were sent here to do. Don't be afraid of those things. A lot of it takes separation from um, the norm in order for you to obtain that objective. And we'll talk about that in another video. But death is promised to all of us. It's the only way out of here. When we're born, we're born into love and life. I mean, even in the hospital room, the bright lights are going, everybody's so excited to meet the new baby, you know, and it's the same thing when we leave. At least that's what I choose to believe. We go back into beautiful light. We feel an abundance of love, which someone very close to me had shared it with me when they briefly passed over, but were revived. And um, there was an overflow of love. I mean, it just felt so good. And it was familiar energy around them, although they couldn't make out any faces. And so I believe that if we learn to respect death, we can appreciate life a whole lot more. If we just respect the, the process of living, the process of living is dying. And so if you want to take that good energy with you to the other side, that good energy must exist in this physical realm before you get to the spiritual realm. That's why it's important to be your, your happiest, you know, your healthiest, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. 
You must be all those things because when we transition out of here, that's the same energy that we'll carry with us. And that's what I choose to believe. Um, I do encourage you all to do a little research, you know, and find the ways that motivate you to live your life to its fullest. Because when we leave, we want to rest in this peace that a lot of people say. Rest in peace, RIP to all these people. How do you rest in peace if you were not living in peace? That's something to think about. So as you journey through the rest of this week, I want you to take note of all the things that you need to work on, all the things that you want to do before you leave this world and get started on it. Work with what you have. Do not be intimidated by how people are portraying their lives to be on social media. Do not be intimidated by those facades. Most of them are just frivolous doings and, and postings and um, the illusion that they're actually living life. And a lot of people are suffering behind those um, structured photos. So I want you guys to be deliberate in how you live, how it is you choose to see yourself in this moment. Do everything you said you're going to do. It's not a matter of how long you get it done. It's a matter of did you get it done. And don't be afraid to change your mind, okay? Because that's what we are. We are light beings. We are always floating and traveling and trying something new and doing something different. It's your life, okay? Do it all. If you got 15 objectives, reach them all. Tell me about it, honey. Don't be afraid. Send me an email if this resonated with you. I want to be able to correspond with you guys. And... Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This is all love and light over here, and that's what I will continue to do for the duration of this channel flourishing, okay? So, I hope you guys have enjoyed our chit-chat about life and death, and I hope that you can bring a lot more love, laughter, and life into your physical life so that you can take that with you in the next dimension. Until the next video, you guys take care of yourselves.